Yo, this is Teresa Weatherspoon, better known as Teaspoon, and you're watching Real Fans, Real Talk. Live from the camp. Uh-huh. This is Real Fans, Real Talk. talk. Real Fans, Real Talk, we as real as you thought. Uh, another guy that we expected to hear traded at the deadline was Deshaun Watson. Now we're hearing he won't be traded. Trip, what do we make of this? Because there was a lot of talk that he, Miami was in a the mix. They were going to trade for him. But we know he has the legal issues. You and I have both said we kind of got to let this process play out to really know where he stands. Uh, on the surface and, and purely football, he's mm -hmm. one of the top five quarterbacks in the game. He's one of the best young talents in the game. Yes. But off the field, we know that kind of takes away from what he brings to your team. So what do we make of the fact that he's not being traded? So I was doing some homework uh, earlier today in regards to Deshaun Watson. Did um, you use your number two pencil? I did. I definitely did. You're doing homework. Got to use the number two. All right. <laughs> yeah, just in case you got to erase. I don't, I don't like using whiteout. Um, so, so yeah, so I was doing my homework. I was doing some reading. And so what's been going on is, um, so basically the Texans, there was something in place. There was a deal in place with Miami, but they decided that they wanted to up the ante because they were seeing that uh, Deshaun Watson was was um, beginning to settle a lot of the the cases. So now they went back and said, "Oh, well, hold on. If he's settling, maybe he's that means he's not going to be in trouble. He might not have to, you know, you know, jail time might not even be on the table. So we can go back to." his original trade value, which is, you know, out of this world for a, a, a quarterback of Deshaun Watson's caliber. It's it, a one of one because we've never, yeah. we've never encountered this situation yes. of a quarterback in his prime at this age. Yes. who was still under contract on the market. Yes. So they felt because of that, they, they needed to get more in return uh, for Deshaun Watson, which, you know, I mean, listen, at the end of the day, we, you know, you and I both know this is, it's a, it's a business, you know, the NFL is a, is a, is big business. And if I'm, if I'm the, 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 the ownership group, if I'm, if I'm the GM in, in Houston, um, I'm not, I'm not just giving away Deshaun Watson for pennies on a dollar. Um, and anything, if, and if you're not getting the max value for Deshaun Watson, which is a huge haul that you could possibly, I'm talking about three, four, uh, first rounders, maybe even a position player or two, the, the, the return for Deshaun Watson when there's nothing outside of football or nothing inside of football bearing down on him, bringing that value down is so high that I can't just give him away. If I've now I'm seeing there's going to be some differences and what's going on with, with, with his case, obviously, um, if you guys have been following Deshaun Watson, you know, he has several sexual assault, uh, allegations, um, but if he's settling those cases outside of court, and you know now that trade value kind of kind of goes back up, and you know the Texans said, "Whoa, whoa we we got to slow this thing down." He's under contract with us for another couple of years. It doesn't matter if we play, we trade him right now. If we trade him at the end of this season, if we trade him at the beginning of the next season, or if we trade him before the trade deadline next season, it doesn't matter. Oh, and guess what? He's not playing for us right now, so you know it doesn't even it doesn't matter anyway. He's not going to get back on the field anyway. They don't really care about that. It's about maximizing what you can get in return for for Deshaun Watson, who is probably a top five player in football, and he's young and he hasn't even scratched the surface on his prime yet. So you yeah. got to maximize. Yeah, it's one of the things I'm on record as saying that. When this whole rumor started about the trade, my biggest intrigue was, all right, so what's the package for him? Because if you're getting a King's ransom, right? We know in the offseason, Philly was offering Jalen Hurts along with a bunch of number one picks and the Texans were willing to say yes, but Deshaun shut it down and said, I don't want to go to Philly. <laughs> so to me, it, 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 you know, I don't want to laugh at Philly, but he said, no, he said. Hey, it is what it is. <laughs> you know what? It, it is what it is. But to me, that what that made me feel like was like, all right, so these legal issues are going to get taken care of. Because if you're able to get multiple number ones and Jalen Hurts, who was a high number two, that means both teams understand that he's going to be ready to play next year, barring a, a short 
four game suspension. And, and granted, that four game suspension may have even come this season, but the Texans have not suited him up or played him. So that's why he hasn't officially been suspended. So to your point, now that the Texans know that he's settling with the majority of these women, oh, by the way, the NFL has only been able to speak to 11 of these women. For whatever reason, the other half of these women have not been willing to speak to the NFL. I don't want to say that these women are making up the story. I don't want to say that the NFL is doing everything they can to speak to these women. But the fact that the NFL has only spoke to half these women, we can't ignore that. We can't ignore the fact that the NFL is trying to investigate it. And for some reason, only 11 of them have been willing to speak with the NFL. Yep. So if I'm a team, like you said, trading for him, and I feel like, hey, if he settles those cases and we know the NFL is only going to spend him for four games, then we still made off because we're getting a guy at 26, 27 years old who's one of the premier quarterbacks in a game who can carry our franchise, who was carrying the Texans franchise. And now all we got to do is get him in our system and see what happens. So you're right. I think that's what really changed this thing for the Texans. They're looking at it and they're saying, all right, so if he's settling, maybe he's going to be ready to play next year. And we just can't give him away to you. We can't give you this guy who's an MVP caliber quarterback for just a couple of second and thirds. We need more picks. We need more starting caliber players right now. I think ultimately we still revisit this trade come the off season though, trip. He's already said he doesn't want to be there. Yeah. I think the Texans are moving in a different direction. Yeah. I think so. I, I think what is, I think he's going to get moved. It just, it doesn't make sense right now. Um, if he's settling out of, uh, of those cases and he's not going to actually be in trouble with the law and we're only talking about now maybe a suspension from the NFL, you know, then that, that changes the ball game. In which case, you know, again, you know, the Texans traded away the bulk of their, of their draft picks already. So they really don't have, they can't maneuver in the draft at all. So if you're going to trade Deshaun Watson, you got to go to where you can get the most for him. Um, you got to look at who's coming out of college this this draft and the following draft to see, all right, I need to kind of think about where I can position, you know, and, and, and send this guy so that I can get one of those top picks in return. And, you know, and which kind of sucks, you know, in that, that, um, th that too is because Deshaun Watson has that no trade clause. So you kind of, you really have to be meticulous with where you're trying to send them. Cause you're going to have to send them to a place where he's going to approve the one, approve the trade. And then two, you know, you, you don't want to send them to a place where, you know, they, they, the draft picks ain't going to mean anything that you get back. You know, I mean, I know it's football. So even later, first round picks still get you a lot. But if you're trying to get a quarterback of the future to replace Deshaun Watson, you're going to need a top five draft pick in the next within the next two years. So and that's where it gets tricky. Yeah, because you don't because you really don't know, because even let's say you trade him. You trade him to the Eagles. Let's just say he would have went to the Eagles when that trade was was on the table. You trade him to the Eagles, he automatically turns them into a team that could win the division because right. now he becomes the best quarterback in that division. So now, you know, a team where, where maybe you could have you could have got a top five pick, that changes now to now maybe you those draft picks are only going to get you around 15, 16. And, you know, who knows? Because this is – this is one of the top quarterbacks in football. So if you put him in a place where he has a solid offensive line, where he has at least one top receiver, at least, you know, a, a, a good running back, maybe a solid tight end, you know, he could go on a little bit of a run. He could at least win one playoff game for you, which now means now you're talking about maybe 17, 18, if we're talking about, you know, in, in the draft. Right. So the, you the really picks don't look as nice now. Exactly. So you really have to be meticulous. That's why, you know, even in the NBA, more so than the NFL, just because, you know, once once you kind of get to late in the first round, going into the second round, the, the talent level, there's, there's a huge drop. You know what I mean? And it's like, so when you get these, when you see these trades for all these picks and you're like, wait a minute, if I'm trading a superstar to this team, these picks ain't going to be worth as much because they're probably going to gonna turn into a playoff team with this guy that I'm sending to them. So you got to keep that into in, in, in mind as well. Um, but I, like I said, I get it. This is a business. And if he's settling, 
that means they don't have to settle. It is what it is. Right. Right. And, and, and as you mentioned, I mean, if you're trading him to a place where they have the pieces in place already now, again, th- that number one, that first round pick, I should say, doesn't have the same shine on it anymore. Yeah. So I, I will say this uh, on behalf of the Colts delegation, we are willing to give up three first round picks and players right now, but they'll never trade them to the Colts because it's the same division. Uh, yeah, but yeah, that's how I feel about them. We'll take him. We'll take him in New York. Listen, the Giants could definitely. Y'all can have Danny Dom's, and you throw him in. We got some, the Giants got some solid. They gonna want Saquon too. They gonna want Saquon too. I, listen, and I'm just, and I feel bad. <laughs> this is Eric, I love Saquon, but if he can't stay healthy, he ain't gonna be no good for us. No way. So if it takes Saquon for us to get Deshaun Watson, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta say, you know what? Go ahead, man. I've, I mean, I haven't picked Saquon in fantasy football in, in listen, two two years, two and a half years. So, a, <laughs> you know. Hey, 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 listen, hold on, hold on. A, a top-notch quarterback is far more valuable than a good running back. Absolutely. No disrespect to Saquon. He hasn't been healthy. Saquon is a very good running back. Yeah. But he hasn't been healthy. So, his production puts him more in a good class. Exactly. If he can stay healthy, but, he could be, right. be, he could be, he, the best he can be back. one of the better players in the league. But, he but can't ultimately, help. right, a high caliber quarterback is far more valuable than a, a good running back. What's up, guys? I'm Emerald Marie, and be sure to check us out on the web at realfansrealtalk.com.